the, the projects that I've been doing in class today are uh, one with my first year class. I, I wanted to get them out the mindset that every time we read a, a poem or a short story or a book, then there's an essay at the end. I wanted to look at something slightly different. So I took the McCavity poem, which is quite long. I just divided it into sections, divided the pupils into groups, and they had to go away and record themselves saying the poem. That was quite challenging in itself in that the language of the poems, a lot of the words are quite archaic to the kids, they don't really know it. Um, and then from them, listen to every single line of the poem and try and find an image that matched what they were saying at that point. Well, we've been learning how to use movie imagery and to download all the photos and all the transitions and like, just all the ways of making a movie, really. I learned how to use uh, iMovie HD. I don't use a lot of Macs. I'm more into uh, Windows computers. Um, but this is the opportunity to use Macs, and we learned how to use iMovie. I take a real back seat when the pupils are recording each other. One, because it maybe makes them a, a bit nervous, but two, it's to give them a bit of responsibility and, and um, a bit of ownership of the project. So they generally... Um, Using a, a video camera and a, a mic, they record each other saying the, the whatever uh, text it is that they're, they're doing, stopping and editing out any giggles or anything like that. We then transfer onto iMovie. I think the, the, kind of, the big thing for the pupils is the editing and it's something that they really have to get right as well because, you know, once you've cut something, that, that's it gone. And at first we were having a few disasters in, in that area, but now, you know, the, the pupils, they really know what they're doing and, and they're, they're listening out for things. And I think that's the thing, because even though, you know, there's music on, it's ev everyone's audio playing all at once, the class are actually quite silent. They're really engaged, that they're really listening in and, and, and paying attention to what's been said. And I think it's like learning the new things that you can do with it. Like, yeah. like, cause like this, this will be a skill like we can carry on for the, the rest of high school. Mm -hmm. In Cardinal Newman, the, the thing about um, moving image that's been quite important was that in first year, we abolished the period of IT and the idea was that other subjects delivered it. So we really had to make sure that we were using lots of IT in English. And I think moving images just, just tick so many boxes for that, you know, that there's so many different things that um, it covers. But at the same time, the, the pupils still get something out of it at the end of it. I thought the best bit of using video in the classroom was um, read. It's not, because everybody thinks English is just reading, working and doing essays and things, but this is a bit different. It's one of the fun subjects of breaking the opportunity. opportunity of using these technology and then taking it home on a video or putting it on a big screen at home to show your parents what we've produced. I think it can be used in so many different ways. It's not something to be afraid of. And it, it certainly, most pe teachers' barriers to using it is probably like their own, that they just don't have the confidence in their own IT skills. But there's no escaping it. Media literacy is here and, it's, and you do have to learn about it.